I'm Little Leprechaun and welcome back to the Boogeyman. Now, this is going to be the last episode. I keep knocking my desk. And, oh my gosh. We're going to go through the entire, ga entire game again. I am going to speed it up. I'm not going to make you sit through what would probably be an hour of me redoing most of the same stuff. But if there is anything different, I will stop uh, speeding it up and you'll be able to see it. So yeah, be right back. Thank God we can cut, cut, skip cutscenes now. So, um, one of the things I didn't realise we had to do was play this, uh, um, the videotape. And if you remember last time, it fell out of our pocket when we saved Sophie. So this is it, Helena's, Helena's just run into a bathroom. Uh, I believe she's being chased. Probably by the boogeyman. This tunes you on. That isn't helpful. Oh, don't look at me. Oh, I, I hate how he always seems to be looking. Why? Run, Helena. Ugh, sneezed. Please don't. Ugh. Now, Keith, you're going to react to that? No? That's fine. Okay, so that was one of the things I think I missed last time. So back to speeding up. Once again, we have some new stuff. Helena is here. Keith, 
yeah, we definitely didn't see this last time. I think I must have forgotten to uh, do something. But to be fair, it wasn't obvious that I had to do it. So, you know. Keith, are you okay? Are you hurt? I'm fine. I mean, I'm covered in blood, but it's not my blood. Uh oh. <laughs> Keith, I'm fine. I'll be fine. There's nothing to worry about. Are you sure? Helena? Wait, Helena, I'll be right there. Don't move from that spot. She's gonna move. I'm fine. I swear. I'll be fine. I. No! Helena. Helena! For goodness sake. Well, that was certainly something. So, yeah, back to uh, speeding through it.
Okay, so apparently this bit is meant to be different too. So we're going to see. Hopefully Helena won't tase us this time. Got ya! That's rude! Stop it. Where? Where? Hmm. Uh, oh, he. Take so we get tased. You walk away like the little bitch you are. <laughs> Hopefully. We've done everything right so far, so... Keith, my poor darling. You watched me. And there you stood. With your back against the edge. Now, it's time that you finally learn. You need pride. You need peace. So go ahead, take it all. But don't you see? In the end, there will be nothing left of you. So yeah, I think that went a little better this time. Um, I can't exactly remember first time that happens however hmm. oh there it is
Okay, so once again, I think we found something new. We now have a uh, video camera. So let's see what the uh, boogeyman's been recording now. Oh, oh God, Helena. At last, I finally got a hold of you. No, 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 no. Oh, dear. Ooh, no, no, no. But what else could I do? You just wouldn't stop running, miss, no matter how much I hurt you. Well, isn't that a shock? Okay, yeah, get just are moving on. You this over, or are you still scared? Well, madam, do you want to run? You're creepy. I don't like you. You're an unbelievable idiot. Say it. Hmm. I called you an idiot. You thought I was running because I was scared. You think I'm scared of you? Yes, Helena. Maybe you've spent too long in your little closet world to understand. You've convinced yourself that women and children are all scared of you. What were you planning once you caught me? Kill me? And then what? You'd go to kill Keith, right? You told me you had Keith in your hand. Whether he'd live or die, up to me. I guess that was true. And all this time you've been foolishly chasing after me. You could never kill him. Hmm. I'm weak. I can't be as strong as Keith is. But there is something I can do. In all my weakness. If I can keep your attention away from Keith by running all the time. I'll run to the ends of the earth. Oh, Helena. She is so sweet. Poor stupid little boogeyman. You really are such a child. You just love bullying anyone weaker than you. Go ahead. Have fun in your little world. Call yourself a villain. A monster. But I'll never let you bring my husband into it. I'll Don't you dare lay your hand on him. Oh. Ah! Oh no! You talk too much, madam. Don't you dare! Keith. That's terrible. She better be okay, I swear. Let's hurry him. Uh, Keith, come on. Keith. Keith. Keith, come on. Let's go. Keith. What are you doing? Come on. You have to hurry. I will. Keith! Hey, what are you staring at? Come are you asleep? Get a grip! Come on! Keith! I'm awake. Clearly. David, you look for Helena. She should be near. Oh, we're having this conversation, okay. W what about you? I'm gonna fuck Where a bitch up. I'm going to go kill a monster. Yay! Right, so I think we may as well keep going from here. So that's a. I have about an hour's of foot, an hour of footage to uh, edit and upload before the end of the day. Ah! I did die a, a couple of times. Okay. Wonder if I can do this with one hand. We'll find out. Whoop, 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 whoop. Let's do this. Wait, Dad. Oh no 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 no. This is new! Why? <laughs> Baby boy! The boogeyman will come. Oh, don't even. <laughs> don't get me. <laughs> Aww. What kind of guy is this boogeyman? <laughs> He's a complete and total asshole, that's what. Long nails? He kidnaps kids. He lives in the closet. A kidnapper? Well, can't leave a guy like that on a leash. 
Hmm. Dad will give you a good beating. Hey, Boogie. You in <laughs> oh, this is so cute. Hey, let go. <laughs> Did he just... Dad? Don't traumatize your son like that. <laughs> He just climbed into his child's closet. <laughs> oh, that's so cute. Oh, gosh. Me and Mom are in the bedroom right there, you know. You still scared? <laughs> oh, need your stuff funny, do you? Or should I read you a bedtime story? Maybe the ones with the fa- no, no Stop way. it. I'm not a wolf, Dad. I can sleep by myself. That's his parent. Oh, my God, he's so cute. Listen, Todd. If the boogeyman comes to get you again, Dad will beat him up. I'm not gonna let anyone mess with you or Mom. Heck yeah. You're a police officer? We're gonna fulfill our promise to our Dad. child. Good night, son. Cause he's Dad. That's adorable. That's the most adorable cutscene in this game. It's okay. I've got you and Mom. <laughs> Stop. There are fireworks. I don't like it. I'm ready to... Beat this guy up. Let's do this. Don't blame it on the sunshine. Oh. Don't blame it on the moonlight. Don't blame it on the good times. Blame mm -mm. it on the boogie. That's such a good song. Leave it alone. Have you ever thought about it, detective? Thought you have an enemy. Leave me alone. Right, there we go. Oh, goodness. I I need to put my microphone down. Hold on, here we go, here we go. I got it, I got it. Uh, there we go, I'm ready. I do have an enemy. You! You don't even know. Maybe it doesn't even exist. Maybe it's all in your head. I swear to God, if this is all a dream. You feel like the whole world's out to make you suffer. Too troublesome to make an enemy of the whole world, right? So, just making one enemy will do. I chose you as my enemy. Have I become yours? Yep. Oh, well. Either way. Oh, sh oh never mind. Let's get into this. Let's Come on. This Come on. Get, get your axe out. I bet he's going to be a lot harder than last time. 